Hello Divas and welcome back to another edition of Diva Tested, Diva Approved, where I'm just going to give you my opinion no matter what. If you're new here, welcome. Sorry it's been a while since I've made a video. I've been mm, kind of a little down in the dumps. I mean that happens to Divas, happens to the best of us. Um, also, <laughs> you know those health things, they just keep coming at you. Um, now they believe there's something wrong with my thyroid. Yeah! So, I got some thyroid testing, and my doctor doesn't really know what's going on, so she sent me to a specialist. I can't see the specialist till the end of March. Yeah, it's not even the end of February. Thank you, February is a shorter month, but still, it's a long time. Anyhow, today I'm going to talk to you about what you can and cannot pack in a carry-on, because the last few times I've flown, I swear... I got in line with people who had no earthly idea what they could or could not have in a carry-on. And as someone who flies a moderately, um, you know, some, you know, I'm not like a world traveler, but I do travel for work and for pleasure. So I feel like this is my first rodeo. So I'm just going to kind of go over some of the things that you can and cannot put in a carry-on. So let's just get right into it. So let's start with the bag. Now when I'm packing for work, I normally do not put everything on a carry-on, like a small carry-on roller bag. I usually take a backpack and check a bag because I usually need things, um, too many articles of clothing that will not fit in my carry-on. So anyhow, let's just talk about a bag that you're going to take on the plane that's not gonna be full of clothes. So I usually take this backpack. It's um, Trans by Jansport. I got it at Target a few years ago, nothing fancy, it's kind of dirty, you know, it's well-traveled. So in the front of this backpack, I put anything that I need to take out quickly because TSA will ask you to take out your liquids. So these are my liquids. I have some saline solution, some um, hand sanitizer, I have my stuff for my contacts, the cleaner. I have some eye mask, and I have a small aerosol Lysol, which you can take, and I have a small uh, container of lotion in there. If you are going to take liquids in your carry-on, you have to use the 311 rule, and that means 3.4 ounces or less, or 100 milliliters, in a one-quart bag. So this is a one-quart bag. Everything in here is the right size. So TSA, I put it in the little container. When I take it out of the um, checkpoint, I put it in the container at TSA. It goes through the um, x-ray machine and it's fine because everything is under 3.4 fluid ounces. So I have that in the front of my bag. Another thing that I like to have Kleenexes. That was my dryer. I also take um, wet wipes to clean off the seat and the tray table and the plane. And I also have in here, you can't see them, but there are some, <laughs> some mosquito repellent wipes, um, because this has gone to, um, Aruba several times and I just take the wipes so it cuts down on the, um, number of things in my 311 bag because when I go to Aruba, I only take a carry-on. So I would say definitely have some of the antibacterial wet wipes because the tray table and the seatbelt buckle are dirtier than a bathroom toilet seat. You're welcome. Again, I put those in the front of this bag. So when I get up to TSA and I have to start taking these out and putting them in the container, I can pull those things right out. Plus I like to keep these in here because they're very easy to get to. So, let's see what else I keep in here. Uh, we usually have some hair ties. Um, fingernail clippers, yes, you can have fingernail clippers um, in your carry-on. I've never had a trouble, any trouble with that. Usually keep some pins just because. Um, medication, you can have it in a container like this. Um, if a medication is if you need a medication with you and it's over 3.4 ounces, you are fine as long as you keep it in the original container so that it has the packaging on the front that says like 
prescribed to Jan Smith by Dr. Black. And it has, you know, those kinds of things on it. Um, they will let you take that through in a carry-on. Because obviously it's a medication, you need to have it. Um, but I don't want to take, like, a couple different um, allergy pills that I take. And I don't want to take, like, the big bottle with me. So I just divvy out my uh, medicine for the times that I'm gone. Um, this is just a medicine I just had in there, but it was fine. Um, I carry Band-Aids. Usually some dental floss. There's always usually dental floss in my um, check bag too, but you never know when you're going to get something stuck in your teeth. Always have a few things of chapstick. Um, I love this foldable hairbrush. Love it. Um, it is a wet brush. It's kind of hard to do with one hand. Um, but I got it at the container store and the bristles go down, the handle folds up and it fits right in your bag. Um, sometimes I will carry a notepad just, you know, I want to take notes or I have some thoughts I want to jot down, like all the crazy people that I've encountered in the line or maybe if I'm doing work stuff, I'll jot some notes down. Um, I always have my glasses with me because I am blind and I also carry an extra pair of contacts in here. Um, I usually have a book. Um, I just, this is one of the books I just read and my iPad just the case. This is a bag I bought from Eagle Creek at the container store and it has all of my electronic things like my spare batteries, all of my cords, I can fit my tripod in there and just anything that I need like chargers stuff like that goes in this bag so I know where they are. Uh, another thing, this is empty right now but um, if I have snacks, I usually try to put them in a little bag like this because you are usually asked to take the snacks out and put them in the tray at TSA. So if they're in a bag like this, I can just pull the bag right out of my carry-on and put it in the tray and then it doesn't hold the line up. Uh, another thing that I like to keep, um, if I am going to have an extra set of clothes, I try to carry something like this inside my carry-on. Um, that I can just kind of put like a small outfit or at least like a shirt, maybe some under things, um, just in case, heaven forbid, that my bag gets lost. At least I have a few things in there to get me through to the next day. I have my document holders. I do like these. Just got this one to put my passport in. You can also put credit cards and some money and things in there. But I do like to have this because I can... I'll cover up my name there, but I put my boarding passes in the front of this and then I'm all ready to go. Some of the last things I keep in there, planes can get really cold, so this is a uh, throw that I'm not going to unfold now, but it rolls right up and it keeps you pretty warm on the plane. So this is definitely something that I would recommend because you can use it as a scarf, you can use it as a blanket, you can roll up and use it as a pillow, you know, just lots of uses. Uh, I do have the turtle pillow, which is really nice because it does help you sleep a little bit on the plane. Um, by no means do you have to go out and purchase one of these, but if you like it, I do get it on Amazon. So, and it does work really well. Um, also, I have my uh, scarf here that I talked about in my Christmas video, and it does have a zipper in it right here, and you can put things in it. So, I usually put like Kleenex or... Um, chapstick, mints, things like that. So those are some of the things that I keep in my carry-on. And now let's talk about how to get through TSA quickly without making all the people behind you mad. Step aside, step aside, diva coming through. Step, step, step. Oh, yeah, that's in my dreams. Whew. Okay, first rule, don't wear sparkly things when you go through TSA because you will set off the metal detector. My friend Kim found out firsthand. She had a shirt like little sparklies in it. She set off the metal detector. Sorry Kimmy, I had to use your example because I would have never thought about it. So leave your tiara at home or put it in your check bag or put it in the tray and let it go through uh, the x-ray machine but don't wear it on your head. Oh and also if it's warm 
or sunny, don't forget to take your sunglasses off your head. Put them in your carry-on. Keep your documents with you until you get through security, until they've checked everything. Then I usually try to put them, try to do this and not knock the tripod over. Uh, I will stop and put them inside of my bag. So I've gone through where they check to make sure that my ID matches my boarding pass. So first thing, shoes off. Shoes go in the bin. Try to wear something that's a slip on because it's a lot easier, it's faster. Wear something like a lace up boot, it's gonna take forever to get on and off. You're gonna make all the people behind you mad. So easy shoes, easy shoes that come on and off. So first thing. Then if you're wearing a jacket, something like this, they're going to ask you to take it off. So you put usually the jacket and your shoes in the same bin. Then pull out any food. Now it doesn't always happen this way, but I think it's to be better to be safe than sorry. Pull out any food, put it in a bin, and then you know you don't stop everything. Um, last year I was traveling and I had some brownies and some pretzels, like gluten-free pretzels and stuff, in the bottom of my bag, and I didn't think about it. And they pulled my bag aside, and I thought they were going to confiscate my gluten-free food, and I was like on the verge of tears. But they didn't. They like wanted it and put it through the x-ray machine again. And I was like, it's just gluten free. But anyway, it's just better just to take it out, have it in a bag, stick it in a bin, and you're ready to go. Then the next thing I do, I've got my shoes and things out. I pull out my liquids. Throw them in the bin. Then have your electronics in a place that you can get to them easily. And I have my iPad right in here iPads, laptops, anything that's bigger than your cell phone has to be taken out and they each have to go in their own separate bin. And that's it. I pull everything out. This bag, unless the TSA agent tells you, usually bags can go right on the conveyor like this. Sometimes they will tell you to put them in a bin, but most of the time, I know in Indianapolis, it just goes right on the conveyor. Sometimes they don't want your shoes in the bins. So whatever the TSA person is telling you, make sure you follow their rules. Another thing, always make sure your pockets are empty. I don't know how many people, the last time I flew, the TSA, TSA agent kept saying, make sure your pockets are empty, make sure your pockets are empty, everything needs to come out of your pockets. And they would get through there and the thing would go off and you'd be like, do you have something in your pockets? And they would pull out keys or a watch or a wallet. Everything needs to come out of your pocket. I mean, even the lint. Let's be, let's just be honest. Everything out of your pockets. Now, this was the great one the last time I flew. A lady came through. She had a gallon bag. This isn't even a gallon bag. Of all these things. Like, full-size things. And the TSA agent pulled her stuff out and said, Ma'am, you can't take this through. And she's like, bah, bah, bah. he's like, ma'am, 3.4 ounces or smaller. She's like, but that thing in there is, and it was a gallon bag full of, some things are about these sizes, but then there were some things that were bigger. And she's like, but that's, that's 3.4. And he goes, but ma'am, this is 4.0 ounces. Like that's too big. So, I mean, this has been the rule since. It's been so long, I don't even know, like since September 11th, that you can't have anything bigger than 3.4 blood ounces, unless it's a medicine and it's in the proper containers. Now, if somebody's out there gonna say like, well, once they let me through because the container wasn't all the way full. Honey, you were touched by an angel. That's all I'm gonna say, touched by an angel because they should have thrown yourself out. I think sometimes they might let you send it home, but most of the time they'll just toss it in the trash can. So if you've gotten through before, touched by an angel, touched by an angel. So those are my things, my tips for getting through TSA quickly. Um, also be very polite to the TSA agent. Some of them are not very nice when you get up there, but when you realize that they have told people to take things out of their pockets, probably. 5,472 times since they've been on their shift and 
probably 700 times somebody has had something in their pockets, then you understand why they get kind of cranky. So always go upstate. Thank you so much, you know, um, for helping today or, you know, have a nice day or, you know, just something nice to them. Like, hey, you're great. <laughs> and one GSA agent, when I flew out of San Francisco, um, the guy in front of me, um, at San Francisco, you have to push your stuff through the conveyor. At Indianapolis, it goes through on its own. Um, but she kept saying, stay with your stuff. Stay with your stuff until your stuff goes into the x-ray machine. Then you can walk over to the x-ray, or to the scanning machine. And she must have said this like 700 times in the time that I was standing there. And the guy walks right off. And she's like, sir, stay with your stuff. Sir, stay with your stuff. And he's just like, when I go, dude get back here. You have to stay with your stuff. And he's like, hmm. So when I got up there, she's like, are your pockets empty? And I'm like, let's do one last check. And I was like, yeah, they're empty. They're totally empty. She's like, good. And she started laughing. I was like, even the lint. And she's like, you know, she laughed. She thought it was funny. And, um, I was like that guy, she's like, I know. I was like, I don't understand it. She was clearly not your first roadie. I'm like, no. So she was like, thank you, you know, for following the rules. I'm like, no problem. Thank you. You know, for doing this job because it's probably not like the funnest job in the world yeah I just said funnest most fun <laughs> anyway so those are my tips and tricks for getting through TSA so leave your big stuff at home or put it in your check bag remember 311 all electronics bigger than your cell phone come out and don't wear sparkly shirts and lace up boots um, <laughs> Can't wait to see you in the next one. Make sure if you like this content to subscribe down below and hit that notification bell so you can be notified every time I post a new video. And I will talk to you later. Thanks a lot. Bye divas.